Welcome to the Empowering Industry Podcast, a production from Empowering Pumps and Equipment as the voice of the pump and related equipment industry. Hey, everybody, and welcome to the Empowering Industry Podcast. I'm your host, Charlie Matthews, and I'm so excited to be here. I, I love this time of year. It's I feel like energized and excited about everything. Uh, but our guest here is one of those uh, road warriors. I've been trying to connect with him since Texas Water, so I'm really excited to have him on here. Uh, just kind of tell us a little bit about yourself. Brad, go ahead. Hey, everybody. I'm Brad Hitzelberger. I work for Industrial Flow Solutions. Um, I've been in the water industry going six years, maybe seven now, I'm starting to lose track, but um, it's a good thing, so it's always changing, but I got in the water industry after actually coming into, um, right out of college, into a gas turbine industry, and actually went into the water industry with not knowing anything about it, and I got an engineering degree, didn't really learn too much about water in, in school. And then just kind of by, by luck, you know, and chance getting into it and kind of kind of ran with it. You know, I, I knew um, I knew what type of engineering. What type of engineer are you? I'm just curious. Yeah, I got so I went to East Carolina University and I got a um, bachelor of science in engineering. And the way they do it is you focus in on one concentration. So I did industrial systems, but it was great because I kind of got exposed to controls, I got exposed to mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, and then industrial and systems was kind of the one I, I did all my later classes on in my last year. So it was an awesome program, but it gets you exposed to everything. But, you know, you don't really learn too much about the water industry in, in college, which I really think you, you should, because that's how I got into it. And, and um, I, I just got, got into it by chance. And I, I really love it. Yeah, I think that is something that we do need to, you know, kind of continue to talk to our universities about and how they ex- ex- exposure because definitely in the water space, it's industrial as well, right? So there's a lot of a lot of pieces there. Um, yeah. So kind of back to getting into the pump industry and your your job now, is it around kind of the industrial or municipal market? Yeah, so I am titled as business development manager for IFS's products. So um, IFS is, uh, is kind of formed in 2017, maybe 2016, but, uh, formed from legacy products, BJM and Stancor, which is on the pump side, but they kind of play in different verticals. They play in more of the commercial and industrial vertical. And then IFS has been growing and expanding and doing acquisitions of companies. And that's where my position kind of got created because they've made a few acquisitions with certain companies and kind of, uh, gobble these up that play more in the municipal sector. So that's where I focus on growing that municipal sector. I focus on building our product portfolio, basically building loyal customer base, uh, doing strategic planning, and then executing it with our team. Yeah, um, I love any, any. I guess it's the strategic planning part, just, just the strategy of all of it, um, of business development. I love that because you, you do help the direction of the company by talking with your clients or potential clients. So uh, I love that part of the business. Yeah. Well, I'm curious a little bit more. So industrial flow solutions, if, if everybody doesn't know the, the, um, oh, I can't remember what that acronym is. Maybe it's acronym. Uh, but anyway, guess, yeah, uh, yeah. So industrial flow solutions, uh, IFS, and y'all have been a partner for at a, empowering pumps and equipment for a while, but can you right. tell our audience just a little bit more about what they do? Yeah, so um, we have about five brands or so. I focus more on three or three or four brands that focus more on the municipal side. But um, these legacy brands that that were in the '80s have been along around for a while. So we're actually located manufacturing headquarters, engineering, um, you know, upper management. Everyone's up there in New Haven, Connecticut. I myself, I'm remote because I'm always on the road. But um, everything's made, manufactured in the USA, which is really great these days. Um, but we're, we're mainly a pump manufacturer, but we also are getting it. We have, we're controls as well. We do a lot of things with our uh, clear water acquisition. That's a lot of IOT type stuff and smart solution type stuff as well. So um, it's a global company that's growing though, because with these acquisitions, you know, now we have manufacturing in Italy. We have a controls division in, in the UK and then in France, we also have manufacturing as well. So our main focus um, for what I do is in the U.S., but then, um, you know, it's a global company that's that's uh, kind of exploding and the growth is often to be a part of. 
Yeah, absolutely. And so as we're kind of talking through this, I mean, one thing I want to talk a little bit about is what I've been seeing you do. So like, I've seen the demo trailers going out and the trainings, like, have y'all developed products specifically for that? How is that um, coming together? Yeah. I guess when I mean, we see it through social, but can we dive into it here? Yeah, we can dive into it. Cause I, I do a lot of uh, day-to-day stuff with our overwatch, which is our direct in line pumping system. And it's a, uh, it's something that, you know, we wanted to have a sales tool that we could go out and, and show people about. Cause this is, this is a product that is, it's not really a novelty. It's really um, it's, it's not, like, you know, you're making your, your phone skinnier and it's not a commodity basically is what I'm trying to say. It's something that's long lasting and, it, and it's really innovative. So when you explain that to someone and when they get their eyes in and get to see it, it's a whole different ball game than just listening to someone explain it. So by having that trailer, we were able to, you know, go into customers and say, hey, here's the product, here's how it works and then actually show them. So it's a full live trailer. We're able to bring it to utilities, municipalities, engineers, uh, consultants, everybody, the whole breadth of the field in the municipal game and teach them about the product. They can get hands-on experience with how it works. They can touch it. They can feel it. And it's really been a game changer for, you know, how we're doing our approach to the sales strategy. So, well, yeah, um, I've seen, I've seen too, just in general, like, going to a facility, um, because they're, they're working right They're They're, you know, can take a a small break and, and kind of learn these demos and then go back to work. You know, um, I think that's a a really interesting way. And I've seen it pick up lately, which is, I don't know, um, I, maybe the pandemic were like, oh, please let me come to your facility. And then like, well, what are you bringing me? Maybe, you know? Yeah. No. So just teaching people about what's out there. I mean, if you don't look around and, and get up, and get updated with new technology, then the world changes around you before you know it. And so being able to get that exposure to people that might not have it about what's changing in the wastewater and water sector with what our company brings, I think is very powerful. You know, we've, we've been road warriors with this thing. I think we've hit 1600 people in about 23 states. So that's engineers, um, commercial, municipal and industrial too. So all different sectors, um, but it's been great. I mean, it's been awesome to see people's response on it. When someone learns about it for the first time, you know, they, you, they want to see it in action. And then you come back and you show them a trailer or live demo with the generator, with the full control, how it works, how it can solve the issues that they have, that it's really priceless for them to, you know, drive it into that, that final cell that we actually are looking for. So t- tell us a little bit more about what problems um, this these products solve for our industry, right? Like, yes, you're bringing the demo, but what are you really helping people with? Yeah, so I think it breaks down into um, into a couple of different things. So with this Overwatch uh, trailer, we actually have our deragger product, which, which is our Clearwater acquisition. And that's kind of integrated with our trailer. So this is a new release product that we've integrated with the Overwatch. So by combining those two separate um, silos into one, we're really, giving our user more data, more powerful data that they can go back and do preventive maintenance with. They can go back and see how their their uh, pump station is performing. So that's really the, the deragger interface of this thing. And the deragger interface also allows, it's a really beautiful, seamless user interface. It's almost as like you're, dry, you're using your iPhone to scroll through and go through different apps and how you operate it. So it's, it's really easy for people to use, you know, and it provides different security levels of, uh, you know, operation and stuff too. So it can do a lot of different things with that user interface that now becomes the controller of our Overwatch. Um, as far as the Overwatch in general, it's it's a problem solver that, that you know, no one else in the industry really has. It, the, there's four things that I kind of like to break it down into. Um, number one is the, is the footprint and excavation depth. When, when we talk about this, we can, we can, save the end user and communities a ton and ton of money by not drilling down deep into the ground with uh, their normal traditional wet wells. With our Overwatch, we're able to, you know, provide that solution, reduce that precious real estate in the ground and, and lift their pump stations up so they don't have to drill down a seat. Number two is the maintenance, and that's something that that trailer does a great job of showing. You know, rags are a big issue today. Fats, oils, greases, rags, they congeal, go up and clog your normal submersible pump. And when they come to our pump, we have a technology that takes these racks one at a time. And if they do have an issue, 
they will tend to reverse with a patented impeller that exposes um, shredding knives on. So it's a, it's beautiful for maintenance. The people that are actually doing the day to day work absolutely love it when they see it. And when we shove racks in the trailer and the live demo, that they 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 go ecstatic. Um, number number three, I think, is is safety aspects of this thing. The safety aspects is the hydrogen sulfide gas. So that really gets exposed in the atmosphere and at certain concentrations, it can become fatal. So by making the operators lives easier by not having to go out there as much for maintenance issues. And then um, if they are working in and around an overwatch pump, you know, they're not gonna be exposed to that dangerous gas that, that is very scary. Um, the fourth thing I would say is, is that odor control because communities, we have to move water somehow in these, these conversations sometimes have to be built around communities that are, aren't in ideal places and the odor of sewage gets out. And then the overwatch system kind of solves all of that. So by integrating, I guess, the deragger and overwatch with that trailer, it really shows all aspects of the complete integration of the product, which I think is awesome. Yes. And I think that just being able to provide that full solution to everyone, right. That that is uh, what people are looking for, right? Not just a, you know, one product. They want somebody that understands their business and can really tell them, you know, what, how this whole system works and, right. you know, how to, I, I think about that. Um, there's some, you know, going to sporting events and different things um, you, you do, you kind of smell the sewage and you're like, they've got a problem here. We yeah. need to call somebody in to fix this. Um, yeah. And so you, I guess I'm acutely aware of this, uh, which I, I'm sure you are too. Uh, but it's, it's, it's fun to know that we have solutions and that we can provide um, these municipalities with resources, the training, mm -hmm. absolutely. The products are there. Um, what's next for you guys? Do you have something on the horizon? I mean, we're working on a ton of projects and, and that's the good thing about, um, you know, industrial flow solutions. We are, are, are nimble and we can work on projects at a fast pace, get a lot of people together and get a lot of people that have um, very good ideas outside of the box thinking. And, you know, there's different things that we're working on. You know, some of our selector tools that we're working on is, is going to be awesome for the municipal market. Getting customers information and getting it fast is what people want these days. And that's something that our, our new selector tool that's going to be online coming out soon is something that's going to be a real game changer for us, I think. Um, you know, I think our, our getting people trained up on the product as far as building our our channel development on our municipal side, you know, we're doing things like internal things like hosting master classes, inviting them to our factory and teaching them how it works, how to how how it benefits the customer, what to look out for, what problems to uh, this can solve for the for them. And you know, spending a few days getting people up to the factory, seeing how how our pumps are built um, and how how they're doing, I think is priceless. So those are a few things I know. Um, we're they're constantly doing stuff in the trailers. It is, it is really what's driving a lot of this business in the municipal on our for watching D Ragger side. So it's awesome. Well, I know you are out and about. You've been to several events. We talked about Texas Water. That was the um, definitely a huge show, and and loved all the exposure. I, I missed it this year, um, so I got to live through everyone else. Uh, thank you for posting, everyone. Uh, <laughs> the other thing, I, just wondering, kind of what um, on your circuit? What, do you have anything else coming up where people can find you? Yeah, yeah, I would say. Um, you can find me on LinkedIn. I think it's it's um, Brad Hitzberger on LinkedIn. If you do the backslash Brad Hitzberger, I should uh, pop up. Floorsolutions.com, you can reach out. Um, I did want to put in a plug, though, for our a BJM line, which is, is more in our municipal stuff. So this is something where we're expanding our hydraulic range in. So it's, it's very exciting. If you want to learn more about that, you know, we're going to be able to have different impeller styles have different, um, you know, we're going to be able to have different hydraulic ranges that a lot of competitors might not be able to get to. So that's something we're working on our engineering side too. If you want to learn more about that, reach out to me on LinkedIn or, or reach out through our company website as well. Awesome. Okay. So I can't let you go with this. I have to do a little rapid fire. So I'm super interested and, and I really just love throwing out some random questions. So uh, the first question is, what uh, is your favorite book? <laughs> You know, I, I don't read too many books. It's more articles. And, you know, I get, uh, I, I read a lot on the internet before I go to bed. I, I, I actually, I spend a lot of time on Reddit and I learn a lot of things on there. So I'll join subreddit groups. Like, um, you know, one of the interesting ones I'm in right now is like, 
is a, is an AI one where they're talking about artificial intelligence and you can, you can learn from people that deal with it every day. So I re read more of like people's user experiences and stuff on, on things that I'm interested in. And uh, you know, whether it be Reddit or articles on our market watch or anything like that. So not too much into the books. I'm more of an article and in the uh, internet person. I, I love that. And it makes me think of um, Patrick Hogue, who was the first engineer uh, that told me about Reddit. Uh, I was like, yeah. okay, that makes sense. And yeah. just figuring out, like I went in there and there's so much information on Reddit. There's so much. And you learn from people, you don't know who it's all anonymous. So you don't, you could be talking to a CEO at a billion dollar company and having a conversation and you're learning so much from them. So it's really powerful, I think. Yeah, I love that. Okay. Uh, favorite music or band? Uh, I would say, you know, I went to with my girlfriend a few weeks back to the Mount Joy concert and they're a great like indie rock band that's coming up and they're, they're awesome. They're good to I'll see to live. Check. Yeah. Check yeah, yeah. I'll have to tell my husband. He loves, he loves, um, outdoor concerts and, and that kind of vibe. Um, yeah. okay. And then best advice you've ever received. Um, best advice I've ever received, you know, I, th I feel like it's, it's, something I probably learned early on in my career. It's, um, it's more like why you do what you, it's not what you do. It's why you do it. So if you can combine those two things of what you do and why you do it, you can really stand out. And I think it's, it's something that I try to take with me, especially being in the water sector, uh, you know, and, and try to carry that with me every day. Of why, why are we doing this? And it's really to help out the community in the long run and, and help out people's lives. And, and, you know, that's what, and that's one of the opportunities that led me to IFS with their products, which I think is awesome as well, because they're, it does, they're, their products are innovative that do help out people's lives. So it's about what you do and why you do and, and just making that known. I love that. Um, okay. There's one, one more. And this is, if you were going to give advice to a young person coming into the industry, what would you say? I would say take all the stretch opportunities you can get. Um, you know, you, know you, you might think you want to do engineering, you might think you want to do management, project uh, management, or you might think you want to do um, upper management one day or outside sales, but you, I feel like you don't really know until you, you, you take those stretch opportunities if someone asks you to do it, even if don't look at it like you, you're not getting paid for it because you're, you'll get paid for it in the long run with that experience. So don't say no to new opportunities and, and take anything that that you can get as far as strip stretch opportunities go to, to balance you out and diversify your experiences. I love that. So, um, Brad, thank you so much for your time. I have enjoyed this conversation and thank you IFS for being a awesome partner of ours. Um, everybody else, if you have not, uh, please subscribe to the podcast, share it, you know, like send it to your friends. It's really easy. You can just copy the link and share. I do it all the time. And so um, I look forward to hearing from you. Um, just send us anything. Um, you can send me an email. You can talk to us on LinkedIn. Talk to Brad on LinkedIn. Um, and, and I guess until next time, everybody, be empowering. Appreciate it. Thanks, Charlie.